Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Charleston is the perfect blend of history, iconic landmarks, and exceptional cuisine. It is a city to be savored slowly. Our travel guru, Michelle Newman, is joining us to tell us a little bit more. It's good to see you. It's great being here. I'm excited about this. I've never been to Charleston. You have to go. I know. It looks absolutely beautiful, but let's start with the history and a little background. History is absolutely astounding. You know, this is where the Civil War began. Mm -hmm. Right there, Fort Sumter. You can take a boat out to Fort Sumter, you can tour it, and it's a national park. And what's really special is I was there at I was the last uh, on the last boat, okay. and they ha they allowed the guests, the visitors, to help take the flag down. Oh, wow. That is so meaningful. And you know, Charleston is known as the Holy City because it was founded in 1670, based upon religious freedom and tolerance. There are over four hundred churches, wow. every denomination there. It's amazing. And the history is just astounding. You can see the beautiful architecture. That's the Customs House. Uh, lots of cemeteries. Oh, I love that. So A lot pretty. of people like old cemeteries. This is the Magnolia Plantation. And, you know, Charleston was extraordinarily wealthy, enormous wealth. And this plantation will give you an example of how incredibly wealthy the city was. It ranked right up there with Boston, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and New York City as far as wealth. It was a very important commercial center. Let's talk about the culture and, and a little bit about the heritage too. Okay. Um, one very important aspect is this is the Gullah Geechee culture. Okay. These are people that they were slaves. They came, uh, they came to Charleston and they were from the western coast of Africa. And they were renowned for they grew rice, they knew how to harvest rice. And the number one thing they're famous for are these sweet grass baskets. Okay. Only place you're going to find them. And if you look at this person weaving this basket, it is not weaving, it is coiling. Mm -hmm. So she is wrapping her reed. And the best way to see Charleston is definitely to take a buggy ride. A buggy ride? Okay. It looks absolutely beautiful. A lot of history and culture. Let's talk a little bit about the architecture because it comes from various places, right? Yes. You have 17th, 18th, 19th century architecture very renowned for their wrought ironwork. A lot of this ironwork was created by the enslaved people. Very pretty. Yeah. What's and, that building? Uh, the Customs House. Um, everywhere you look, you, you are just surrounded by history. And as I mentioned, the best way to savor this is to definitely take a carriage ride, a buggy ride, because you still have many of the original cobblestone streets. Very pretty. Okay. Uh, where did you stay? Let's talk about hotels. I stayed at the Mills House Hotel. Okay. And this hotel is a very famous landmark hotel. It was built in 1853. And look at the beautiful wrought ironwork on it. So pretty. Presidents have stayed there. And the most important thing that happened there, there was the Great Fire. And General Robert E. Lee helped save the hotel from the Great Fire. And you can see the beautiful courtyard. Um, and what's interesting about this hotel, even though it's a historic exterior, the interior is more contemporary with beautiful artwork and very pretty accessories in the lobby. It's like taking a step back in time almost. It's so totally cool. I it's love totally. that. The city is a very refined city because, mm -hmm. as I said, enormous wealth mm -hmm. and therefore you have these exquisite buildings. And, and of course a lot of shopping, right? <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a shopper's paradise. You know, um, this is the Charleston City Market, which okay. was founded in 1807. It is four blocks long. Holy moly, four uh, blocks of shopping. Yes, okay. four blocks long, and they have craft items. They have local art. This is where you will buy your sweet grass baskets, and okay. you will see the artists actually making them. That's so pretty. Oh my this goodness. is King Street. Yeah. Now, King Street is interesting. It's um, two miles long, and this is a very exclusive shopping area. And the other thing is, back in the 1890s, part of it was called Little Jerusalem because the Jewish people owned the beautiful shops, and it got the nickname Little Jerusalem. Look at that. All right, let's talk food, because wherever you go, there's got to be some good restaurants, right? 
you know, Charleston is famous for food. It's a foodie's paradise. A lot of outdoor eateries. Um, the other thing is, do you know that supposedly this is the birthplace of shrimp and grits? Oh, oh, I think people might might want to argue about that. Who knows? Yes, <laughs> yes. Interesting. Okay. And of course, all sorts of great desserts and treats and, and things like that as well. Yes. And you know, the other thing is... Um, there's an architectural element that you will find only in Charleston. Okay. If you looked at some of the pictures of the buildings, there is like on the side, there is a veranda or a balcony. But in Charleston, it is called a piazza. Oh, interesting. And the reason they do that is because it faces the south, so it captures the ocean breezes. Okay, this looks amazing. I could definitely wander around and take a look at so many different things. Lots to see. If we're planning a trip to Charleston, how many days do you think we need? You know, many of the cruises, like I was on American Cruise Lines uh, cruise to Charleston, I stayed an extra three days. Okay. I recommend five days. There is so much to do between the museums, the buildings, the restaurants, the shopping. There's an abundance of things to do. You will not ever get bored in Charleston. All right, guys, we'll put it on your list. And of course, if you would like to know a little bit more about Charleston, take a look at your screen. You can find out more when you visit charlestoncvb.com and follow Michelle Newman on YouTube. She's at Culture Vulture 18 for more.